Hello everyone and welcome back to my Eidolon free-to-play series. So right here I'm just in the gym shop. I ended up buying all of the extra card slots. Um, I think it's kind of important to do this early on, especially now that we have some really good cards and I don't want to... I don't want to like have those bonuses not active all the time, so yeah, I ended up buying them. Uh, I don't know when or if I'm gonna buy the presets, they're not really needed, and if I switch over from PC to phone, it basically wipes it anyways. So right here, I was doing some printer stuff on some of my characters, and I forgot that my beginner is still a beginner, and I can't actually use any attacks. Um, I do turn this character into my journeyman later into the video, but I thought it was just kind of funny that I couldn't actually use the printer skill. So right here, like I said last episode, I ended up buying the uh, special talent book. Um, it's not really that useful right now. Uh, I think I get like maybe 3% or 5% because I can't really clear the boss as of right now. But later on, it's definitely going to have its uses. So there's a couple cuts here. One is of the arcade. I ended up just adding a longer version of it later on because of the new limited time stuff. And right here I just show you my Kilroy stuff. Uh, again, I show this later off in the video. I do it on a, on a Bowman. I do it on my Bowman, I think. So right here I'm just kind of upgrading stamps. I'm not really showing absolutely everything, but I ended up spending most of my money on the Skellyfish stamp trying to get as much uh, fishing efficiency as I can get, you know, trying to get those bloaches and stuff as soon as possible. So right here we're just doing some task completions. So I do quite a few tasks in this video. Um, and speaking of tasks, I kind of looked through them uh, the other day, I think it was like yesterday, and I noticed like one of them, uh, I think it was like the alchemy one. For the uh, speed or whatever. I'm not entirely sure how I unlocked all that because I think the uh, combined total speed that I've ever had like the most was probably like 30k or something so I'm not even sure how I ended up getting the 50k but uh, on a side note I just killed Amarok for the I guess first time um, just for the achievement right now and I do believe I get this constellation sometime in the future. I don't really show any of that. Uh, right here, this is just my weekly pet thing. I think I ended up getting a board bean, which kind of sucks because I already have two of them. I would probably be pretty happy just with like a sandy pot or something because eventually you can't get like any of these like, um, I guess low tier ones eventually. So getting like all the low tier ones now would be ideal. And I order them from most likely to least likely, uh, I guess, or based off bonuses or whatever. So right here I spend the rest of my cash on the accuracy bonus. And I also apologize for that train in the background. So if you glance at the no time to brew achievement right there, it says I only have like 7k. Um, like I said, I only got it up to like 30 before, so I don't really know how I did the uh, ninth version or the ninth tier of that. Um, I was also crashing on Nivi a lot on my Android, and I had to completely wipe it and reinstall it, which is why there's not too many clips of him. I think this was before I started crashing. Um, so I basically just did a free, uh, fresh install and it kind of fixed it, thankfully. I wasn't crashing on the computer though, which is kind of weird. Also, going back to the tasks once again, the pack meal one, I will probably just skip that, like, uh, skip recording it, just because, like, it's kind of weird to do it, and I believe you can craft stuff from storage as well, so it's not too hard, but I did do the eighth one, but for some reason I went to go, like, record it or whatever, and it, like, reset it, so I think I'm just gonna end up... So I'm probably just going to end up not recording it. So yeah, uh, right here I have a bunch of these um, inventory capacity things and I think that was food or whatever. Yeah, uh, food. Luckily I had a lot of like golden plops and you know, woodular circles and stuff of that nature. 
So I can basically get that all done on all my characters right here. We're just doing some like island stuff. Uh, I think I got level 35 fishing and I ended up using all those time candies for that quest. I don't know if I'm going to start or if I'm going to keep saving them. I think I might use them pretty soon for just like getting to world four and beyond and stuff. Uh, right here you can see my fractal uh, island stuff and the bonuses I have from that based on all the thousands of hours I accidentally AFK'd. And I didn't really get to kill this like weekly boss here because I died and I like I guess I teleported out and then I went, when I came back it was gone so I guess you can't leave the island which I didn't know. Um, I already got the first two stamps you've seen that in the last video right here i don't know if i'm saving it up or if i'm just gonna maybe get the uh the drop chance stamp um i don't know if i have enough money to really upgrade that enough so right here like i said before this is the arcade i ended up buying those like free bowls that that we got in the uh, limited time shop that happened yesterday which was friday uh, i think they cost like four or five gems i'm not really sure how many i ended up getting Per, like purchase and also I don't spend my gold balls because the iOS version isn't out yet as of recording this so I will probably spend all my gold balls when the uh, shop rotation changes so I'm probably gonna forget to roll these uh, dice down here mainly due to my main I basically just kind of like claim the balls and I never shoot them and you know you basically get thousands of them and it takes freaking forever to get them all out so i kind of just get lazy with it but i will try to remember to roll them every time i see them so right here i just show off the limited time shop as well as my depleted gem stock i ended up buying more storage space uh there's multiple reasons for that um, I've been buying all the stamps every day for the uh, Papa Pig or Peppa Pig or whatever the hell it's called quest and I've been buying a lot of like bag space and stuff so I finally got to the end of the sewers on my shaman which I think is probably the best class as of right now uh, like in terms of stage of my account to be doing this every day it'll be the fastest way to kill the boops and stuff so I don't really get anything from Deficus here. Um, I don't get like the pickaxe or whatever, or the axe. I just basically get the clipboard. I'm not really sure, I can't remember if TP Pete needs like just one clipboard or multiple. I haven't really started doing many quests yet, but I will probably get on that within the next week or so. It's just, you know, there's a lot of little stuff that I have to be doing. I mean, I still have those characters to create which I actually create one later on in this video, but yeah, it's just, you know, coming back to an account after so long, it's just, there's just little minute things that you have to do to kind of catch up. Uh, right here, I ended up making the birthday hat and just premierifying it or premi premiumifying it. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool, so... Yeah, he's probably going to be wearing this for quite a while. It's not like I really have any other hats to wear. And I know I still haven't gotten a journeyman on him, but I've been trying to just get his his other skills up so when I go for Maestro later on, I can just have the skills ready to do it. Um, and most of them were basically like level 1 anyways, so... Look at the little mushroom. He's carrying a little mushroom. Wouldn't that be cool, huh? Just having like a little mushroom that you could carry around, like as a, I guess like as an offhand or something. Um, you know what would be really cool is if, uh, instead of like gloves for weapons that, you know, the beginner class has, if it was like, instead of like an actual whip or something, that would be kind of cool. And then you could just kind of have, kind of almost like an abyssal whip from like RuneScape, you know, where it's just kind of like hanging and dangling and stuff. Uh, right here, I ended up making my 8th character, I think it was. And I'm just kind of skipping the, you know, early game stuff. I ended up going with a warrior uh, because I want another squire and I want to be able to refine twice as much. It's going to be very important, especially early on. 
and I have a bunch of, you know, bag stuff that I've been accumulating over time that I will unlock at the appropriate levels. Uh, also, in that last clip, I thought it was kind of weird that there's like a class certificate now. I've never seen that before. Um, I guess it's new or newish. Uh, right here in this clip, I just wanted to show you what I've been basically doing on all my characters. I just go here and warship and use all my charge and get up to like level 14. Um, so yeah, right there I ended up ranking up my red salts so I can finally start upgrading stuff again as well as, you know, it'll produce more and it'll be faster or whatever or however it works, I don't know. It's definitely going to take a lot of time and a lot of resources to get that at a decent level. So right here, I finally, like I said, I finally got my printer and like shrines unlocked. Uh, I stopped being lazy and I finally did the uh, ice cream quests. I ended up getting the salt lick as well. Uh, just kind of upgraded the first bonus a little bit. Got to stack up that, uh, you know, printer sample size. To be honest, I've just been mostly leveling up my like damage shrine and like the pulse mage and stuff basically just because it requires the red salts um so yeah right here i finally unlock the means to like actually get a font keys every day i've been putting that off as well uh, i want to get the first or i don't know if it's the first task the second task or whatever done eventually and i want to start stacking these up this is the one thing that i haven't really been stacking um that i can be right now and like i said previously just lots of tasks um we get a lot of a lot of the uh printer stuff going finally get the uh i guess last food slot that you can buy um what else do i spend that on i think it was monster respawn or something and i put that one in boss keys um not that it really matters right now. Uh, I think I end up doing the Naked Knuckle stuff as well. Uh, there's some efficiency stuff. I have I had like a hundred silver pins and I've been slowly kind of just using them. I'm not really sure what I want to do about that because I don't want to get my streak too high because I don't really have the resources for that stuff but I definitely want the boxes and I haven't really been showing it, but I think I have like maybe close to 400 boxes right now. Uh, right here, I forgot that you can buy a new stamp in the uh, World 2 shop, uh, town shop. Uh, it's for stock quantity or shop stock quantity. So that's really good. It's gonna speed up some stuff. And once I level it up enough, I will be able to start buying two of like the really good stuff like the antique eyes and stuff so that'll be nice uh like i said last episode i ended up getting the card stamp from flute uh fruit flies and i'm just sitting here upgrading that uh, i kind of wish i had that money still so i could just upgrade that quantity stamp that would have been really nice and i ended up beating amarok on the first four characters did 20 yum yum achievements uh, right here, I ended up getting Bob Joe Pickle Jar. Um, I've just been doing that, like, drop trick or whatever. And it's been working out pretty well. I kind of show it off right here. It's hard to do on Android because you accidentally sometimes, like, go into another inventory. And it's kind of, like, annoying to... It kind of... And it bogs down your game. Like, it really lags it out. So it's kind of hard to do effectively. And there's that naked knuckle boxing. There's another printer task. Um, I think I save this for the next episode. I think I save it for the refinery salts. And I believe I just ended up buying the Amarok helmet, which I will craft probably next episode. I'll probably end up crafting all of them just to get that achievement done. I'm not really sure off the top of my head if Amarok's better than gold. It probably is, but uh, with that, thank you all for watching so much, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.